Are we all connected? And the answer is yes. We are all immersed in the Earth's magnetic field. The human species is about seven billion conductive brains all sharing this field. Think of seven billion wires all immersed in that Earth's magnetic field. This field contains enough energy to store the experience of every human being who has ever lived. All the information of every human brain that's ever lived has the potential to be stored in the Earth's magnetic field with lots of energy left over. There's the Earth's magnetic field, as you've seen it on many occasions. In fact, the strength of the magnetic field induced in every brain, right now you're being induced, put it this way, you are immersed in the Earth's magnetic field as penetrating through your brain, through your body. And in fact, the strength of the magnetic field induced in every brain by the Earth's magnetic field, when all brains are considered, is almost identical to the strength that each brain generates. Your brain generates in the order of about a, a picotesla, which is about a, a trillion of a tesla, much weaker than your magnetic field. But that's the operational intensity. But what does it mean? It means simply this. Such convergence produces the conditions that allow global resonance and the possibility of a human hologram. That is, seven billion brains, basically immersed in the Earth's magnetic field, all with similar intensities. The whole equal the sum, and the sum equal the individual. The individual equal the sum. That sets up the conditions for a hologram. Calculations suggest that the time required for an event one in one human brain to diffuse into all other human brains on this planet would be about 10 minutes. And it would recur primarily during dreams or during altered states. In other words, you can actually calculate it. One brain, something you're thinking about right now. How long would it take if we're all connected to diffuse to every other human brain on this planet? About 10 minutes. And optimally, during dreaming, when the right hemisphere is dominant. Now, has there been evidence that such connections occur? Yes, for decades, verified cases indicate that some people's sudden experiences about a crisis to or death of a loved one occurs on days when geomagnetic activity is quietest. The experiences usually occur during a dream state. 